This past month has been one of the worst months of the year for me. Maybe even my life. I wasn't able to look at any laptop screens, um, cell phones, TVs. My vision was messing up. There was one night where I woke up and I felt like I couldn't see out of my left eye correctly. Um, I was sluggish, dizzy. My friends and family said I was acting not my usual self. My memory was horrible in the beginning of the month. And uh, I couldn't even go for car rides without getting sick because I was having this kind of lagged vision where I would see one thing, turn this way, and still see that in my vision. Andrew, why are you being, you were here for most of it. <laughs> what? Andrew, was I acting weird? Yup. Like Dwight in the episode where he got a concussion and he threw up in the car. Remember that? Oh, yeah. Yep. This is going to be a great story time. It all started August 27th, 2021. I was on set to shoot a commercial. The main reason why I was there wasn't for the commercial. It's because they were shooting a food fight. And a food fight's been something I've been wanting to do for a really, really long time, ever since I was a kid. Especially when you see like kids on TV, they see food fights and they make it look so cool and everything. The only reason I've never shot one is because I've always felt bad about wasting food. So as soon as I heard I had the chance to do a food fight, I was on it right away. The casting crew were great. The whole the whole set, like everything was great until the food fight started. Don't worry, I'm gonna keep this story short and simple. I have vlog footage of after my concussion where you can definitely say that I'm loopy and I go to the emergency room where I'm gonna go get stitches, had to get a CT scan, Ronnie's there. It's, it's a huge thing. I will say that my vlogging skills weren't the best when I had the concussion. I thought I was a lot better than I actually was. So there's a total of nine creators sitting at this long rectangular table, probably around three to four feet wide, lengthwise seven, six, seven feet. I don't know. But there's four creators on one side, four creators on the other side, and one creator at the head of the table. I'm over here. And the person who threw the plate, she's over here. So here's what happened. They're setting up for the food fight. They have all the food laid out on the table. It looks really good. It's a dessert food fight. So it was like pies, cupcakes, just like any dessert. You can, these little cream puffs and stuff. And we're all super excited for the food fight. The crew is all set up, cast is ready to go. We're all standing, ready to throw food and everything. And the director says, action. Oh, I really wish I could show you guys the footage because I'm not the best at story time videos. Anyways, we're all throwing food back and forth. We're having a lot of fun. It's getting messy. It's everything I dreamed for. And all of a sudden, I wake up and I'm on the on the ground. Yeah, I wake, I wake up on the ground and we're still filming. There's still food flying all over the place. So I jump up and I'm like, okay, we gotta keep going. Gotta keep going, gotta keep going. And then I start noticing that I'm like having something getting my eyes. So I'm like this, throwing food, like this, throwing food. And then the director yells, cut. And I turn and I said, am I bleeding? And before I knew it, I was seeing the medic and he was like, what happened? What is going on? And he's like, hey, we need to get you to the emergency room. You're going to need to get stitches. What happened? The whole time, everyone was so confused about what happened and how an innocent food fight could turn into a bloody mess. And I couldn't feel it too much. I just felt numb. So I really couldn't tell what was going on in my face. And I felt fine. I felt great. I was like, okay, I'm good. I'm good. Like I must've slipped and I like just wasn't paying attention and woke. I don't know. I didn't know what was going on. But then as I was getting cleaned up and everything, somebody was like, hey, I got a video of it. Let me text it to you. Nobody knows what's going on. When I told them I'm going to the emergency room to get stitches, everyone was like in disbelief. Um, but I saw the video. <laughs> I'm watching the video. The girl across the table took one of the plates and just launched it at my face. Now you're probably like, oh, it couldn't have been that bad enough to like give you a concussion. Remember how I said the table was like three, four feet wide? It wasn't the widest table. And in the video, you see me like leaning over to like grab food and like her hand, you can see it slow motion right here. And all of a sudden my head just goes, Doo! and then I slip and hit the floor. Now I don't remember getting hit in the face or falling down. All I remember is throwing food, having fun, realizing that I was on the floor, getting up, continuing and saying, am I bleeding? And in her hand, it's just the plate. There's no food on the plate. Like she just took like just a plate and threw it. So yeah, um, this happened. So I really want to go to sleep. Going to sleep. But she won't let me go to sleep. Yep. Because there's a chance I have a concussion. We just went to urgent care. They told me that since I don't remember falling down, that I have to go get a CT scan. The good news is I have this gash on my nose, and the lady said that she doesn't think it's gonna scar. Scar. If you do what? 
if I put stuff on it every day. Yeah. But the medic guy said that he thinks I'm gonna need stitches, and she said I don't need stitches. So we're gonna we're gonna see what's gonna happen here. But I feel lightheaded and I want to sleep, but she's not letting me sleep. No, you're not. Thank I'm you sleeping. for that. <laughs> but I could like I could like pass out a whore right now. It's great. When I do this, it hurts. Oh, oh, oh! Don't do it. <laughs> I got a plate to the face. Got knocked out. So, I was just trying to get black, but look who's joined me. Hello. 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 Thank you for driving an hour and a half to come save me. Okay. Running to the rescue. Uh -huh. Running to the rescue. How bad is the luck running? Okay, it doesn't honestly look that bad. I feel like it would have looked way worse when it was like open and bleeding. Oh yeah, it was a lot of blood all over. I had to throw away the shirt I was wearing because it was just blood. Blood. Thank well, you for coming. I'm tired. Can I sleep um, now? No, he's not allowed to sleep. I'm like, someone needs to be with him the whole time he's here. He is. <laughs> You're a forest. Hmm? You're a forest. I'll fall asleep. <laughs> so I've been here for over an hour waiting with Anne, but Anne's been here for over two hours now. Um, waiting. I've been here for... Three hours. Four hours. Oh, you've been here for four hours? Well, you've been we got here at like two. six. Oh, yeah. Well, and it's now... Ten? Ten, six, ten. So what's happening is... Um, I got beat up by a plate. I got a video of it. I'm not sure if I can show you guys. I'm talking slower. What's gonna happen is, um, we're trying to wait for a room. Hey! We're waiting for a room. So they can glue up his nose. Thankfully, it's not going to be stitches. Hey, thankfully, it's not going to be stitches. It's going to just be glue. So that means there's not going to really be a scar. So that's great. That's really great news. We're just waiting on the CT scan and we're waiting for a room. But it's just really packed right now. Well, it was. It's slowly starting to go down, but there's only five rooms. So it's just taking a bit. <laughs> okay. And you can't be closed. I'm hungry. I know, okay. I don't feel good. You don't? What do you mean? Sorry, I got punched in the face. <laughs> but I did lose thousands of followers on YouTube and all my social media. So that that sucks. How did that work? Quite a bit. What do you mean? So you, do they just see that you're not, you're not posting and then they unfollow you? Yeah, then there's just a lot of people didn't know what was going on and honestly I wasn't able to edit I wasn't able to really do anything when I looked at my phone. I'd have to take like long breaks You weren't able to edit. I wasn't able to do anything I just want to say thank you to all my friends and family who like stepped up and helped me a lot I'm not one to always come out and ask for help right away, and it's something I'm always working on um, but thank you guys for just show like helping me even though I didn't really want your help um, but I really appreciate it and um, Yeah, thank you guys too in the comments and uh, in the Instagram posts I've been posting and all that stuff for being so Nice and helpful and uh, thanks this guy. This guy has literally been with me Him and Ronnie have been with me most of the time just taking care of me and doing stuff So he's a great brother this past month really sucked like I was so bored and I slept so much and it was just, It was really depressing to be honest probably one of the lowest in my life, mental wise, and just not being able to do a lot of things. But thank you guys for your support. Um, please subscribe, hit the like button. I need to build up everything back up because we took a pretty big hit. Um, so yeah, took a plate to the face, knocked me out, took a month of my life away. Dying. Dying. That's that's how you summarize it. Oh, you should have did that in the beginning. Do it with another intro thing. Nah, I think we're good.